Hi everyone, my name is Kelly McCormick and for my presentation um, I will be talking about the two interviews that I conducted and I interviewed two females um, in the professional fields. One is an athletic trainer and she was actually my athletic trainer when I played basketball at Western New England University. Um, and the other person that I interviewed is a Division II women's lacrosse coach. Um, for my theme, I chose to um, interview about how mental skill, how these two professionals utilize mental skills in their work and how it may affect their work um, or their athletes. And I was mainly interested in this because well, we're learning about mental skills, and I'm currently doing it in my internship as well as many other students. Um, but I wanted to know if other people, other professionals in the sport world, utilize these skills um, and the mental game in general, and if it's not just people who have training in the sports psychology field. Um, so I definitely wanted to see if other people have knowledge. Um, about this and like I said if they utilize it. So I had the same type of questions for both of the people that I interviewed and um, I definitely received some awesome answers and really really interesting um, answers from both of the people I interviewed. So the first person I interviewed was that athletic trainer and her name is the same name as mine. It's Kelly um, and she's someone I've had a pretty good relationship with over the years that I played in college basketball. Um, she was the athletic trainer for our women's basketball team, um, and I always respected her, and she always helped me with my injuries. So I started off by just asking her general questions about um, if she believes the mind and the body affect one another, and if she believes mental skills are important in her work. And she seemed to have a lot of knowledge in the area, which was definitely good to hear, and it's something you would want to hear from, you know, someone working in that uh, particular setting. So what she particularly does is um, she is assigned certain teams, and she helps um, rehabilitate injured athletes and try to get them back um, into their sport. And she talked a lot about how their mental aspect affects if they are successfully able to return to sport or recover from their injury um, in a certain deadline or or fully um, recover. So she said she 100% believes that the mind and the body affect one another and that mental skills are very important in her work. She talked a lot about goal setting and she said that's the main mental skills she used with her athletes and the main ones that she believes that the athletes use. Um, she talked a lot about how if they can use, if the athletes can set attainable goals and set weekly goals and follow them and um, follow up with the goals that they've set, then they have a better chance of returning to a sport and um, having a successful return and not just returning when they're still injured. Um, and she said she notices the athletes that don't end up returning when maybe they want to or don't end up um, fully recovering are the ones that do not set goals or the ones that set goals and do not attain them. So she said a lot of athletes might not come to um, their, their their sessions, uh, their therapy sessions for when they need to rehabilitate and do their exercises. So she said goal setting is the main, um, the main one she uses as well as she talked about positive self-talk a little bit. Um, she said the ones that are really positive usually return more successfully than the ones that are not as positive. Um, she said she thinks it's really important in her work to use these skills because um, the mindset is just as, if not more important, than them um, 
helping out in their their physical aspect. So I thought that was a really interesting interview with her, and I definitely learned a lot from her. Um, and in my work, I'm you know I may end up working with injured athletes um, if I ever have sessions with them, and so that's good to know that there's such a connection between um, having a strong men- mindset and getting yourself back to. Uh, back to sport. And then my second person that I interviewed was a college coach, and she's also an assistant athletic director at the university. She is her first time as a lacrosse coach. She played basketball with me in college as well as field hockey, and she played lacrosse in high school. Um, She's definitely someone I really respect as a friend as well as uh, a former peer and someone in the world of athletics. She has a master's degree in athletic administration. And I was really interested um, with all of her background, her sports playing background and her athletic administrative background, as well as being an assistant athletic director, if she utilizes mental skills with her athletes um, as a coach. And she has a lot of different roles. And she, her answers weren't as lengthy as my athletic director's answer, or sorry, as the athletic trainer's answers. Um, but she definitely touched on that she thinks it's super important for her athletes to have um, mental toughness. She talked a lot about mental toughness, and she says that she tries to observe body language and how her athletes respond to certain situations so that she can help them. She talked about one particular athlete who she noticed um, was always stressful about different situations in life, kind of was not on time to a lot of things and so she tried to work with her about kind of checking her emotions at the door and letting go and really trying to focus on the game um she talked also a lot about pre-performance routines which I thought was really interesting um and I'm not too familiar with the sport of lacrosse but she said that all of them having a pre-performance routine that they utilize consistently really helps them to be um set for their games and practices. So um, overall, both interviews, I think, were pretty successful, and I really appreciated hearing two different perspectives um, on mental skills in the sporting world and having someone who strictly works with injured athletes and having someone who works in the the coaching world. Um, And both do not have education training on sports psychology so it's good to hear that other people are utilizing this kind of things in their work so thank you very much and goodbye